Okay, welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 680 of valid palindrome 2. So given a string, return true if the string can be a palindrome after deleting at most one character from it. You do have the option to remove exactly one character from the string. So in this question, you have the option of removing one character. So in the first example, we have ABA, which is going to return true because it reads the same forwards as it does backwards. So it's a valid palindrome. And then in example two, we have a, B, C, A, which initially is not a valid palindrome, but as soon as you remove one character, say we remove C, you get A, B, A, or if you remove B, you get A, C, A, which are both valid palindromes. So we have the option of removing one character. So the first step in solving the solution is to make sure we know how to check for a valid palindrome. The string has to read the same forwards as it does backwards, and the way we usually do this in terms of checking for a valid palindrome is to use a two-pointer technique. So we have a left and right pointer, the left pointer at the start, the right pointer at the end. We check if those values are equal. If they're not, we return false because it's not a valid palindrome. But in this case, we have the option of excluding one of these values, right? So the first instance where a value at the left pointer does not equal the value at the right pointer, we have the opportunity to exclude either or of these values. Okay, so we can choose to exclude B and then have this as the search criteria. So we can search in here to see whether this is a valid palindrome, in which case it's not, or we can remove C and search here. And this is reading the same forwards as it is backwards, so we can return true. And in a very similar case, say the left and right pointer are equal to each other to begin with, we just increment the left pointer, decrement the right pointer. And then when they are not equal, we search in this criteria. So from the left to the right pointer, We've already seen these, so we don't have to use them within the search. And we can just do what we did above. So we can initially remove the left pointer and then search to see whether this is a valid palindrome, in which case it's not, so it'll return false. Or we could exclude the B and then search this area here, and then it will return true. So time complexity for this is going to be O of N, where N is the characters within the string, and then space is going to be O1. So initially to start, we create the left and right pointer. So left is going to be at the start, right is going to be at the end of the string. We need to create a function that checks if the string is a palindrome or the current string that we're looking at is a palindrome. So we're going to take in the string, left and right pointer, and then to check if it's a palindrome, we just have a while loop, which is left less than right. We check if string at left does not equal string at right. If they're not equal, then obviously it's not a palindrome, so we can return false. Remember to increment the left pointer and decrement the right pointer so you don't enter an infinite loop. And then we can return true otherwise, because the while loop would have escaped we would have checked all the characters and they would all be equal to their counterparts so we can return true. Okay, now back up to this top function. So we need another while loop. So while left is less than right, if s at left does not equal s at right, so if the characters aren't equal, this will be the first instance we find where the characters aren't equal. So we have the opportunity to remove either or the character at the left pointer or the character at the right pointer. So in order to do that, we're just going to return is pal. We're going to pass in string. We're going to increment the left. So we're going to add one to the left. So we're excluding the left side or the left character and pass in right. Or is pal s at left right minus one. So we're excluding the right here. So if either of these returns true, then return true. and then increment the left pointer, decrement the right pointer, and return true. Let's give this a go. And there you go.